I always found other cultures and people very exciting. And uh, choosing Arabic, it gave me an opportunity to go to the Middle East, uh, part of the world I didn't know about. So I thought, why not? Well, I wanted to study abroad um, because I was focusing on Middle Eastern studies. Um, and there were a lot more options uh, in Cairo as far as coursework was concerned. Yeah, um, I think the most ex historically significant experience I had was um, going down to Upper Egypt uh, in the south and seeing the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Queens, and some of like the oldest, like the cradle of Egyptian civilization, some of like the oldest tombs and whatnot. Um, it was very exciting to see, to see that and, and something like the pyramids that were just so old and so a part of a world that I'm not even, a, I had nothing, I knew nothing about beforehand, so. I just took full-on political science courses about the Middle East, about the world, about uh, international relations theory, about Egypt specifically, and I found that the coursework was a little different in, in Notre Dame in that uh, you really had to um, put as much effort into it as you wanted to get out, you know. Um, I took um, nine credits of Arabic and an uh, Islamic history course and an Islamic art course. And I normally, even though I am an Arabic major, I don't take that much Arabic and I don't take that much uh, concentrating on, I guess, Islamic history. Um, so that was very exciting because it was completely new to me. Um, and in general, the coursework was a little bit easier, but the Arabic was extremely helpful and it was something very practical that I could use every day, so. We lived in downtown Cairo in a student dorm for the university um, on the island of Zemelik. And, uh, it, you know, it was funny because at Notre Dame we have uh, some strict uh, living rules um, on campus. You know, it's certainly stricter than other universities like parietals and, and all that. But in Egypt it was uh, tenfold. Cairo was crazy. Uh, Cairo was an amazing city. It was always changing. Um, it always kind of felt like it was on the verge of chaos in a good way. Like uh, we always had to um, use taxis to go anywhere. The public transportation was not very good. So it gave me an opportunity again to use my Arabic skills. And also uh, there's just so much culture there, there's so much interaction with the people, especially going to the markets, going to the mosques and just seeing, um, especially on our days off, like how the Egyptians live. Cairo. What I really liked is that uh, the city's really expansive, um, and they're building two other cities, I mean, mega cities on either side of Cairo right now to try and help some of the overcrowdedness. So what you can do is really travel around um, like you might do in New York and see different communities. You know, um, you can go to the Syrian area. You can go have American barbecue if that's what you really want, you know, down uh, up the Nile. And you could really feel different cultures, really the whole Arab world coming together in Cairo. Um, and so that was, that was really cool to be able to see that. I think the most rewarding experience for me was uh, just traveling the whole time because that gave me an opportunity to use my Arabic language skills that I was still trying to like improve upon. So we did it all. We went to Sinai, we went scuba diving. We went up north to Alexandria and walked along the waterfront. We went out to the western desert and had a jeeping, jeeping experience and camped out there for a night. We went south uh, and did a Nile cruise. And when we were sick of Egypt, we hopped on planes and we went to the Emirates, we went to Morocco, we went to, uh, to Turkey and Rome at one point. Um, so we made, we, we took advantage of, uh, of that little extra money and the time we had. I think that the Cairo program was very uh, challenging from an Arabic language point of view. It was also challenging because I was not in my Notre Dame bubble anymore. There were only um, nine of us total, so um, I got to know people from other cultures, from other parts of the United States, and it was probably, I could safely say, one, one of the most enriching and challenging things I've done in Notre Dame so far. Um, there are only so many places in the Middle East you could really get that full experience um, of fine, feeling like you're somewhere different but also really focusing academically um, and giving yourself the opportunity to study. So, you know, um, while the program at times was, was testing fine because you have um, 
you know, a different living situation. You have a big commute to get out to the desert to campus. Um, it, it really uh, challenged people and, and helped them become better, better students and, and learn more about, uh, about the Middle East. Uh, you definitely grow a lot closer to the people who are Notre Dame students there. Uh, you create your own Notre Dame community, but you also reach out. Um, all, all of the um, Notre Dame students kind of hung out together. We traveled together, but we also brought other people in. So we kinda... Notre Dame is a wonderful place, and you learn a lot here, and you make great friends, and you take great classes, and you get a very wonderful sense of community. But it's very hard to appreciate it while you're here for, you know, just four straight years. And more than that, it's really hard to make the most of it um, if you stay here the whole time. So, in a way, the, the further you go uh, studying abroad, the closer you feel when you get back. And I, and I